welcome to Dell Sales. This is Samisha from the Global CSMB Training and Development. Uh, well, I really, really appreciate all you taking out the time for the wireless technology and the notebook technology that we are going to study in a short while. So l let's understand what is wireless technology all about. Well, I describe the wireless world as the circle with, with a couple of concentric circles within. Look at that. The first circle is a small little circle and I call that as the wireless fan technology, wireless personal area network, small area, within a room maybe. Uh, examples are Bluetooth, infrared, wireless USB, and those kind of things, those kind of technology. So wh wh what is this wireless fan? I mean, look at your TV and remote, look at the deck and the remote. Well, that is infrared technology. So anything which can be within a small little room is all about wireless fan technology. Let's go to something big, something better. All right. That is the next concentric circle which you have here, which is the wireless LAN technology, also called the 802.11 technology. It's codenamed as 802.11. Well, what is wireless wireless LAN? Uh, think about think about specific areas like airports, hospitals, uh, some hotspots, where if you have a notebook with you, or if you have a cell phone with you, you would be able to connect to internet through an uh, through a local area network through a local wireless network which we call it as a Wi-Fi network now how is that possible well uh, that area usually has uh, has a broadband connection a uh, huge bandwidth broadband connection which is in turn connected to a particular router there and this router emits a wireless signal so it can send and receive the wireless signal since the broadband is connected to the router it can send and receive internet signal well your notebook if it has got a Wi-Fi card, which every Dell notebook has, then you would directly be able to uh, operate the internet service. So that is only within that area. The moment you go out of that area, obviously you would not be able to use internet through Wi-Fi. So uh, wireless LAN is within a particular premises, say within the Dell premises, or maybe within the home, uh, or maybe within hospital or, or uh, say an airport or something like that. It obviously won't expand, it, uh, it won't go beyond that area. So it is specific to a particular premises. Fantastic, that's a wireless LAN. Let's go to something even bigger, something which is very different, and this is the wireless RAN technology. We call it as the wide area network. So uh, it is also called as metropolitan area network, wireless LAN technology. Now what is that all about? Well, look at your cell phones. How do you use your cell phones? Today, if I were to call a person who's in Austria or maybe uh, Ireland or United Kingdom, I directly dialed the international code followed by the local number there. It's all done. And I'm able to connect to him. So how does that go? That goes through the satellite. From my cell phone, the signals go to the, uh, to the telephone tower, which in turn passes it to the main satellite. The satellite again passes it to the telephone tower in United Kingdom, and it would pass it to the, to the person who's living in Dell to whom I'm calling. So that is a complete satellite connection. It covers huge, huge areas, oceans and continents. It's across the oceans and continents, which is a wide area network. Satellite connections like uh, GSM, CDMA, GPRS, 3G, GPS, all of them come under this wireless LAN technology. Now, what my question is, are these three technologies present in Dell? present in a particular Dell notebook or present in a cell phone. Just think about it. Wireless fan, Bluetooth, yes. If you have purchased a Bluetooth card along with your notebook, well, you have Bluetooth connectivity. So you can connect to your cell phones, you can transfer images, you can do all that. You can transfer songs, whatnot. So obviously notebook can have Bluetooth. So wireless fan technology is there in the notebook. Wireless LAN. Well, just because sometime I told you every notebook comes with a Wi-Fi card. Every notebook. So obviously it can use the wireless LAN which we call it as a Wi-Fi technology. If at all there is a hotspot or if at all there is a presence of a router within your house and you're able to access internet through it. So wireless LAN technology is very much present in all our notebooks by default. No issues at all. What about wireless RAN technology? Well, even that is present. What happens is all you need to do is buy a mobile broadband card. The mobile broadband cards would go into one of those 
internal slots or one of the external slots. We're going to learn about those slots a little later, but when you buy a mobile broadband card, it goes into one of those slots and you would be able to access internet. Like uh, in India, for example, you have these uh, USB dongles from Reliance, from Tata, Tata Photon Plus, if you know that. So th that is all about wireless WAN te technology, mobile broadband technology. So obviously, our Dell notebooks can have the presence of all these three technologies. Just not a Dell notebooks, but for the matter, a smartphone today has all the three technologies. It's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi, and it's even got uh, wireless WAN technology. You can access internet wherever you go, wherever the service of that, uh, you know, of that particular telecom company is there. So all these three technologies make a lot of lot of sense in today's world. Let's see how wireless WAN. As I told you, Bluetooth, infrared, it's all about within a, a small little area, maybe 5 feet, 10 feet, and you want to transfer images to your cell phone, you want to transfer MP3s to your cell phone, etc. Whatever it is, it comes in pertinent. Wireless LAN, well, for internet, within your local area, within your premises, within your office, within your house. Wireless LAN, wherever you go, for example, uh, I I'm taking my notebook to, say, a different city altogether, I'm traveling in the train, and if at all my cell phone is working in the train, Obviously, if I've taken the same service for wireless WAN, uh, I would be able to operate internet. But, mind it, this internet is going to be slower than wireless LAN. Wireless LAN is the fastest, absolutely tremendous speed. What we call it as the mobile, uh, what we call it as the broadband speed. Maybe even faster now. Okay, so that is all to do with the wireless technologies in the notebook. But, before we go in depth in it, we're going to look at these things here. Let's understand them. The first bullet point here says that notebooks do not have expansion slots like desktops. So what are the kind of uh, expansion slots you have on a desktop? Well, if you remember, internally you have those PCI slots, PCI Express slots, where you can put in those expansion cards. So notebooks do not have such kind of slots because notebooks are compact. Notebooks are uh, like they're, they're, they're completely uh, it's a full-fledged uh, compact notebook and would not allow you to add any extra cards to it. So obviously, there are no dedicated cards in a notebook except for dedicated graphics cards where there is a provision for it. Look at this, look at this image here. It clearly shows the dedicated graphics card which can be put into a notebook. But can you see this dedicated graphic card? Does it give out ports? Well, it doesn't give out ports at all. So in a notebook, by adding a dedicated graphic card, you don't really get ports. You don't get those video ports. So th that it's, uh, the dedicated graphic card acts like a, a, an accelerator, a graphics accelerator card. It doesn't give out ports, so you can't connect uh, you know, monitors directly to it. But notebook has got integrated ports in it, like a VGA port or a HDMI port uh, to which you can connect the monitor, and you can have a pretty good performance through these dedicated graphics cards. So point number one, please remember, notebooks do not have expansion slots like desktops, but all they can have is a dedicated graphics card internally without giving the video ports. So the video ports are those which are already there on the notebook. By adding a dedicated graphic card, you don't get extra ports as such, as in a desktop. Let's go to the next point. Because notebooks are portable, they have special mini card slots which take different types of wireless technologies, maybe wireless PAN, wireless LAN, or wireless WAN, or maybe all three of them, whatsoever. Look at this. This is how a mini card looks like. And this is the connector part, so it directly goes into one of those mini card slots, which is there in a notebook. Because notebooks are portable, obviously, they need to have these wireless technologies, because that is the, that is the idea all about. We use notebooks so that we can use internet, we can travel with the internet, and we can use all those internet applications that we have been using. So that is the reason they have mini card slots. Now, we are going to look at all this in a, spe uh, in a specific picture in the next slide. Let's go to the third point. For, exa ex for expansion, notebooks are provided with external card slots. Now remember, notebooks do not have internal expansion slots, right? So, for expansion, notebooks are provided with external card slot called the express card slot or the older version was called the PC card slot. They're two different card slots. All the newer computers, newer notebooks have express card slot. While the older notebooks may still be using the PC card slot. Looks uh, here, you would see that 
uh, th those, uh, you know, those uh, Reliance cards or those mobile broadband cards can directly get into the slot. Well, it's just not mobile broadband cards. Today, we have various cards we get in the market like uh, RAM cards, TV tuner cards, and the ports are here of the TV tuner, and this can be connected directly to the cable and all that. So those kind of cards can go externally in a notebook into the express card slot or the PC card slot. Now, we need to remember that every notebook, every notebook would come with one of these card slots, be it Express or the older version, which is PC card slot. Yeah, some of the latest netbooks would not come with this because they are like just too small, just very small, very compact to have this card slot. So let's now look at all these points right in this notebook motherboard that we have here. It's an open motherboard of a notebook. Now, let's go step by step. Do you do you look at, I mean, can you see anything which is like an expansion slot internally on the motherboard? Look at that. Are there any kind of PCI slots that you can see here? No, they're connectors, they're chips, chipset, but there are no PCI slots, no PCI uh, express slots, nothing. There's just absolutely nothing. And that's the reason I told you that notebooks do not have expansion slots within them, inside. All they have is a slot for dedicated graphics maybe one of those slots or whatever it is. So all they would have is one dedicated graphics slot. That's it, where you can put in a dedicated graphic card, which would not give out ports because notebook is ultimately compact. Look at that. This is a compact notebook and it would not give out extra ports with the use of this dedicated graphics card. So it's just a graphics accelerometer card, something like that. The second point, what we saw here was that uh, because notebooks are portable, they have mini card slots. So where are the mini card slots? Look at that. This is one mini card slot which has a wireless LAN on it. This is one more mini card slot which has got wireless WAN on it. Oh well, look at this. This is one more card slot which takes in the Bluetooth card. So you have all three of them here. The mini card slots for wireless technologies. One, two, and three. Which is here, here, here. And it sits somewhere here. So you have all those mini card slots. Perfect. So that is what makes the notebook work as a portable device. For expansion, notebooks are provided with external card slots called express or PC card slots. Now that is something we may not be able to use here. So we'll look at that a little later, maybe in the next slide. In the meantime, let's understand this motherboard of the notebook. Look at that. This is the place where you insert RAM, DIMM slots, the main processor, which is here. Look at that. It's pretty small and it's a compact system altogether. Hard drive connector, here it is, SATA hard drive connector, and the hard drive would sit somewhere here. And then these are the mini card slots which we just saw. And this is the optical drive bay, here it is. And well, I, I guess here's the connector, look at that. So this is, this entire. sorry, here's the connector. So look at that, this is the optical drive bay which sits here. So that's it, and all the ports are integrated, these connectors would go to the associated ports, but they can't have dedicated ports at all. It's all integrated in a notebook. So first thing we need to remember that a notebook has all integrated ports. There are no dedicated ports in the notebook. By insertion of the graphic card, you don't get graphic ports, as we just saw some time back. Now, uh, so you've understood about the mini card slots as well. Let's go to the particular section which talks about these express card slots and PC card slots. Let's understand that. Let's look at it more closely. Uh, we'll come back to this. Here it is. So notebook expansion, external only. In consumer systems of Dell, all you have are the express card slots. Look at that, this is how it looks like. And this is the card slot, you directly put in the express card, whichever it is, maybe a mobile broadband card or whatsoever. See, remember one thing, we saw, th we saw two options for a mobile broadband card. One is put it externally, like the way it is shown here. And the other is use this wireless WAN card slot internally. If you look at this, when you use it internally, such a kind of mobile broadband card would sit directly into the slot here. And then you would be able to put in a small little SIM. So we'll look at that a little later, and that is how you would be able to use it internally. So obviously mobile broadband cards can be put externally, as in the express card slot, or internally in the wireless WAN card slot. Now let's look at this express card slot a little in detail. Well, it can take in uh, there, there are two kinds of uh, express card slots, the 54mm category and the 34mm category. Now, most of the cards are designed for 34mm category, but you still have some uh, legacy cards which go into the 54mm category. So you'll have to be a little careful. 
By chance, if your customer sees them, I've got a, you know, a kind of expansion slot at one of the sites at the Bill's Book. Fine, great. Uh, what kind of a slot is it? You would have to ask that to your customer. Well, it, uh, it says in the manual it's an express card slot. Can I have the width of the express card slot? Is it a 50 per mm or is it a 30 per mm card slot? So you'd have to always verify that before selling any card that is that goes into the express card slot. Please remember that point. And the business systems have an option, either an express card slot or a PC card slot. You can choose it at the point of sale. When you go to any of these latitude systems which are business systems, you would have this option very clearly stated uh, in your configuration. And at the point of sale, he can make a choice. So if he goes for express card slot, it's going to be something like this. You need to check whether it's a 54 mm express card slot or a 34 mm. Some notebooks have 34 mm while some have 54 mm. So be careful about that. Well, PC card slot, it is only a one type, the legacy type. And you uh, select the PC card slot, you directly get this kind of slot. It's a pretty big slot. It's called the PC NTIA slot as well. And such a respective cards would go into the slot. It's, not, it's no longer used in our consumer notebooks. Please remember that. So that is about the expansion of notebook. Let's look at the internal Wi-Fi options or the mini card slot options so that we can have Bluetooth, we can have uh, the Wi-Fi cards, and we can also have the mobile broadband cards. Let's look at that. Here we go. So the notebook wireless technologies, firstly the wireless fan cards, the Bluetooth technology and wireless WAN card, mobile broadband, is optional on the system and has to be upsold. Perfect. It has to be upsold. Please remember that. So this is how a Bluetooth card sits and it gets connected internally to a notebook. And if at all there is no option at all, what would you do? And the customer is hell-bent on buying a Bluetooth card for, your, for his notebook. Well, you can always give him those external USB Bluetooth dongles or you can give him uh, Bluetooth cards which go into the express card slot. Any of them. Just check for this. The wireless LAN card. Look at that. Those are the Wi-Fi cards. It, it sits in like this, in this particular slot. So this is the uh, mini card slot for the wireless LAN. Now, wireless LAN card goes by default on every notebook. So please remember, every notebook is uh, ready for Wi-Fi technology. Customer can upgrade it to a faster card or the N series from the A by B by G. Now, what is this A by B by G and what is this N series? To tell you frankly, don't bother. Those are the terms of today. They are the present, current generation terms for Wi-Fi cards. All you remember is A by B by G gives you a pretty good speed, decent speed, but there's something even better called the N-series. N-series cards are approximately five times the speed of A by B by G and two times the coverage of A by B by G. Wow, that looks interesting. So let's understand how does this wireless LAN technology run. Now assume that you want to have a Wi-Fi connectivity in your house, what are you going to do? Point number one, you need a broadband service. That's how you're going to operate the internet. Point number two, you need a router. You can get a router for somewhere around 2,000, 3,000 bucks. If you want an N-series router so that you can have some really fast access of internet, it may cost you maybe a thousand bucks more. So then the mobile broadband, sorry, uh, not mobile broadband, the broadband is connected to the router and the router is capable of emitting wireless signals sending and receiving wireless signals. Because you have this card in your notebook, you would be able to access internet wirelessly. And, and your job is done. If you have a desktop, you get these USB uh, dongles for uh, wireless LAN cards. You even get internal PCI wireless LAN cards which go into the PCI slot of the notebook, uh, sorry, of the desktop, or the PCI Express Type 1 slot of the desktop. So even desktops can have the wireless LAN technology. But remember, it's worth going in for an N-series router and an N-series card so that it gives you a decent speed, a pretty good speed, five times the speed of an A by B by G, and also a pretty good uh, extent coverage, which is two times that of A by B by G. An N-series router would require an N-series Wi-Fi card to work at those speeds, or else it would work at A by B by G speeds. Please remember that. Now, Assume that uh, you even want internet connectivity while you're on the go, maybe in the train, maybe in the in remote areas, in areas where only a cell phone works. What are you going to do? Wi-Fi may not be the right option. 
although you already have it on your notebook, but still you may have to go for something additional, something better, which is called the mobile broadband connectivity. So in a mobile broadband connectivity, uh, what happens? How do you go about with this? So you can go externally, as we saw some time back, which uses this express card slot option on your consumer notebooks, or if at all you've chosen the PC card slot, you even have that for PC card slot. Or else you would have to go internally for the wireless WAN option. Internally, where does it go? Look at that. Wireless WAN, this is the connector, and here it sits. When it sits here, it even gives this place where you can insert the SIM. This is right behind the battery on your notebooks. And you can put in the SIM of any of your service providers, maybe Vodafone or Airtel or Reliance, whatsoever. Well, if it's a UK customer, he may use, preferably he may use Vodafone. We have a pretty strong contract with them. He can even use Orange or he can use uh, British Telecom, whatever it is, whichever it is. So please remember, mobile broadband is the one switch option which a lot of customers prefer today. Because you don't have wireless LAN Wi-Fi everywhere. You don't have hotspots everywhere. But mobile broadband is something wherever you have your cell phone service, you can avail this mobile broadband service in your laptop. And as I told you, it can go internally, and then you just put in the SIM, or you can have this external option like this. When you put it externally, obviously you can use it in other notebooks as well. But internally, it's meant only for that notebook. That is how the notebook wireless technology runs. So let's take a very, very quick recap of things. Uh, firstly, notebooks do not have internal expansion slots. So it, uh, it would not have this PCI slot or PCI type 1 slot. All it can have is dedicated graphics card slot like this. But a dedicated graphics card in the notebook would not give ports externally because the notebook is uh, compact. It has got only integrated ports. But although it doesn't have ex expansion slots, it has got something called mini card slots for wireless technology. Here, look at that, look at that, and look at this connector for Bluetooth as well. So it has got these mini card slots for portability, for internet connectivity, and for Wi-Fi te uh, wireless technology. So you can have Bluetooth by inserting a Bluetooth card, which is optional. Wireless LAN card is there by default, but you can upgrade it to an N-series, which is five times the speed and two times the coverage of A by B by G, the existing series. And you can even have the mobile broadband card internally. All you do is put in the SIM, from uh, right behind the battery, you put in the SIM as well. And that is how you can have full-fledged uh, broadband connectivity, either through Wi-Fi or through mobile broadband service. Let's go to the next one. Uh, notebooks, because they don't have internal expansion slots, they have external expansion slot, which is either an express card slot or in the good old notebooks, we have the PC card slot. So uh, the express... Uh, Express card slot is again of two types. One is a 54 mm width and one is a 34 mm width. And you need to check this, which particular size would actually get into it. So be sure about that. For business notebooks, have the option for either an express card slot or the PC card slot. And you can have mobile broadband cards or uh, TV tuner cards or anything whatsoever which can go into these card slots externally. That is all to do with the wireless technologies across notebook. That is all to do with the notebook special technologies uh, what we are going to do now is we are going to do some exercises based on these technologies. I hope you have understood. If you have not, please fire your question and let's check out for the relevant uh, resolution or answer for it. Thanks for now. Thanks for the video. Thanks for all your time and patience. Goodbye.